Okay, in this video, we're gonna download and start to install Ubuntu. So before we do that really quickly, this is my website, codeme.com. If you're interested in learning how to code, check this out. I've got tons and tons of courses that I've released. If you like my teaching style in this course or whatever, uh, go ahead and check these out. They're $29 each, I think, or you can come to this enroll today link and you get total membership for 49 bucks. You get all the courses, all the future courses at no charge. This is not a recurring fee. You pay it one time and you get access forever. There's no limits or anything like that. And it's really cool. You get access to me. You can ask questions and interact with other students. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. We've got over 50,000 students at this point and it's really kind of cool. So to bribe you very, very quickly to leave a good review for this course, I'm going to give you this coupon code. If you come to the order page and type in super coder, which I know is the stupidest coupon code ever. It'll knock off another 22 bucks. So you pay $27 for all of my courses, like hundreds of videos, and it's really, really cool. So if you leave a good review for this course, please feel free to use that coupon code. I realize there's no reason for me to, there's, there's no way for me to prove that you left a good review. I've already given you the coupon code, which is kind of stupid on my part, but I'm not a marketer. I don't understand this stuff. I'm a coder. That's just all there is to it. So, but if you leave a good review, four or five stars, I would really appreciate it. Those reviews make or break courses here at Udemy or wherever you're taking this, a couple of good reviews and suddenly the course shows up in the search results, a couple of bad reviews or no reviews and it just, these courses just disappear. So I really appreciate if you do that. So enough of that, let's get back to this. So head over to Google and just type in Ubuntu and you get this ubuntu.com and click the link. It's gonna be the first thing that pops up. So what we need to do now is download this for our virtual server. So let's see, head over to, we want desktop, no, downloads. Let's just click the download links. And there's all kinds of things. There's Ubuntu server, Ubuntu cloud, Ubuntu core, flavors. Like what, what do you need? So what we want is Ubuntu desktop, right? We're gonna be running this as a desktop. Ubuntu servers for like web servers and things like that. Uh, we don't want that. We just want the desktop. And you can see here's some requirements to gigahoosers, gigahoosits, <laughs> gigahertz, uh, dual core processor better, two gigabytes of system memory. That's kind of important. The more memory you can run the better it gets slow and chunky if you don't throw enough memory at it so it's good that your computer has a lot of memory uh, 25 gigabytes of free hard drive space this is kind of important because we're going to need to tell our virtual box later on how much hard drive space to give this thing and right out of the box it needs 25 gigabytes so you have to have at least that much i'm going to recommend you have much more than that because we're going to be downloading other things once we install ubuntu uh, so you'll need more more space than the minimum uh we don't really need this internet access we've got definitely have that so okay so go ahead and click the download button. And they ask you for a donation. This is completely free. So you can come here and just switch all these to zero. Or if you want to contribute, you can do that too. But you can see, make sure it says zero here and then nothing Ubuntu for free. This is all open source free stuff. So you don't have to pay for it if you don't want to. So, all right. So what we've got here is it's saving this Ubuntu 16 point whatever. This is just the latest version. You could see 16.04.4. If you see over here, I've already got 16.04.3, which is just a very small version ago, right? So I probably downloaded this a month ago or something. So I'm just going to keep this, but you go ahead and click the save button and it'll start to save this to your desktop. And you can see 1.5 gigabytes. It is a gigantic file. It's going to take you a while to download it. I'm going to go ahead and just cancel that. I've already got this downloaded on my computer. Well, a slightly earlier version. It really doesn't matter what version that is. Uh, just whatever the latest version, that'll be fine. So once that's downloaded, you can see here it is right here on my desktop. Here's our virtual box. And once it's completely downloaded, then we can install that. And I think that's what we'll do in the next video.